Okay, now if you're looking at this design, you'll notice that Google Ads doesn't go to the bottom because Google Ads double click. We decided to give Google Ads, ads no, no height. Therefore, it's going to basically just default to the height of itself, the height of itself. Wrapper, we gave a height to. Now, aesthetically, what we want to have happen with wrapper is we want wrapper to grow to the content. So therefore, eventually, none of these div tags are going to have a set height. These div tags, the only div tag that's going to have a set height is the branding tag. Okay, so very important step here. So we're going to basically make some aesthetic changes to this. First of all, let's go get some content. Okay, so I just went to an Ibsen or website or any news site or any content that you want to put here. So I'm going to double click and I'm going to paste. Now notice that the wrapper tag doesn't have a flexible height. So in this particular case, I'm just going to save this doc as something else. So I want the main content to have a flexible height. Right now it doesn't have a flexible height. Right now main content is basically right here. Okay. Now the other thing that, okay, so notice that main content here, as I said, height, you want to make the height flexible. So we're going to double click main content div and give main content a height of nothing. Again, not zero, nothing, no height. Just like Google Ads has a height of nothing. Now this sidebar here does have a certain height. So we're going to change that as well. We're going to go to sidebar here, double click that. Let's give sidebar a height up, nothing. Now watch what happens. It's going to collapse on top of itself. So how can I get my sidebar yellow to stay there consistently throughout? So a simple way to do this is we can give the background color of the wrapper tag. We can get the wrapper tag a background color of yellow. Therefore, yellow is going to be down here. Now, if I do that, what's going to happen? Then branding tag is going to have a background color of yellow, and Google Ads is going to have a background color of yellow. So here's a better solution to, to solving this particular problem. So here's a solution. We're going to go to our code here for a second. Now, for those of you that are afraid of code, it's a very simple process here. We're going to surround both the sidebar main content and Google Ads into a container div tag. We're going to call it main container. Okay, so we're just simply going to select from sidebar. We're going to select from sidebar all the way down to Google Ads. We're not going to select footer. Just Google Ad div to, to basically sidebar div. We're going to select that. Now that it's selected, it can be affected. We're going to come up here to our insert div tag, and we're going to simply call that main container div. Okay, so objective is to get that yellow basically be the whole left sidebar as the content grows. So here's a simplistic way to do this. So I hit OK. So I go back to my design mode or I can control tilde symbol. Now that div tag is here. I just need to select on the bottom left. So, so we don't have to reinvent the wheel here. We're going to double click sidebar. We're going to take sidebar's color, which is this color here that I picked. We're going to cut that color. Command X or Control X for Windows. We're going to select main content div, and we're going to make a rule for main content div. Now, this is extremely important. Main content div, by default, is taking up this much space. Main content div is not going to wrap this entire section. And so you float main content div, either left or right. We're going to choose the float to the left because that's to be in the same level as these div tags. These div tags have floats on them. So I hit the OK button, okay? Then I say for the box height, the box height's going to be nothing. So in this particular case, the only thing I have to do, I have to do two things to this main container div, which basically encompasses the sidebar, main content, and Google Ads. We're going to give this a background color, paste, so far this happening, and we need to float this to the left. Now in this particular case, we can flip left or right. We're just gonna choose left. So that takes up this entire section. Now I want the left side to be yellow and the right side to be yellow, but I want main content to be white. So how do I do that? I simply double click main content and I give it a background color of white. Therefore, 
the color will stay set to the height of this. Now, important step here, and this will drive you insane if you don't know how to solve this. Actually, there's nothing to solve. It's just that Dreamweaver does not render properly. Dreamweaver has a yellow bottom on this white box. That's not true because if you either go to publish it to the server or you go to live view, you will see that there's no extra space at the bottom. Okay, so that's just a Dreamweaver rendering problem.